Hi, this is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to talk about following that fiat to its end, okay? The fiat to its end. understand some of the conversations, I actually spend a lot of time on the YouTube channel with other pieces of information. Some people like watch like like this much on my YouTube channel and then and beat me up about some issue that they, they think they saw in there. And I'm like, I just talked about it in another YouTube video. Okay. So watch them, uh, watch other ones if you don't understand the stuff. Now, the fiat currency is basically this. First off, you have to understand what the fiat is. Okay. The fiat is the paper and the digital money through the Fed, okay? The Fed isn't a federal organization. It's a private organization. So what happens is that, number one, you have your money. You pay it to the IRS. The IRS takes its cut. They send it over to the Treasury. They take their cut to make it legal. And then they send it over to the Fed, who first takes the first 6% of every dollar, which is in their charter. And guess who takes it? It's those idiot big banks, like the Chase Banks and all the other ones, and the Queen of England. They always get their cuts. And when Trump did what he did, he stepped on the head of the snake. Hmm. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Boy, he is being used of God in many ways, okay? Anyway, so then... They take their, their cut, and then they also send out a certain amount of money to pay off the debts that they created. I mean, for the Fed, I mean, you, you talk about paying your debts, and, and mo most people are like, they don't understand this. And they go, well, we pay our debts. We should pay our debts. I'm like, when did you get a big screen TV for the, for the federal debt? The answer is nothing. You got nothing for it, okay? The most you've gotten over the last couple of years is probably, what, $2,000 from them at, at, at most? And, and a lot of people talk to me. I've talked to a lot of people. I mean, my my um, ministry partner gets $750 in Social Security, and she tries to live off that. I have to supplement her income just because I, I just feel wrong about how she's done it. And, I mean, she never even got some of those n numbers. I mean, it's just so wrong. Everything is wrong about the system. And that's what the White Hats are actually curing. We're curing the morons here, okay? Then it moves into the U.S. Mint, who makes the money, who puts it out into the system. And a fiat currency is basically whatever they want it to make. And here's the thing that you have to understand. Fiat currency is all about deflation and inflation. It's a, it's a process in there. And we think of it as it just sits on our shoulder. It's always inflation, deflation. Inflation, deflation, it's always there. And the answer is you don't have to live like that, okay? We don't have to have those kinds of slavery moments here. What a lot of people are seeing is they see the hyperinflation and they, and they don't understand it. <clears throat> they think America's gonna end, we're all going to hell in handbasket kind of thing. And I even saw a guy who tried to say we're in the third and fourth seal. He just stepped into my little camp, okay? Because I have a, a whole series called Hope in the Last Days. I've spent 36 years teaching end time issues, probably my 37th year. But here's here's basically what happens. Jesus shows up in Revelation 6, verse 1. <coughs> it's also re refurbished a little bit in Revelation 13, 1. And Jesus introduces the Antichrist. And the second seal is the uh, is the World War III. It's much worse than you ever understand in that first half of the tribulation. It's not a peaceful time frame. This the third seal, the fourth seal. You've got these first four seals are hyperinflation and, and the Antichrist coming in. He's setting up his own um, governmental systems. Okay, it's not a system of 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 it. It's a guy who sets up the systems. Okay. Now, Satan's been trying to set up the playbook of the enemy, okay? He's trying to set up the mark without the beast. And you don't get the mark without the beast. You have to have the beast first. And, if, and, the, and the beast is a dude. 
Okay. If you want to follow, if you want to talk about the Bible, you have to follow the Bible fully. You have to fully interpret the scriptures correctly. Okay. It's exegesis. It's the it's a process of looking at the scriptures in the correct way. Now, <clears throat> hyperinflation is like the way that we're going to talk about it here. So for instance, hyperinflation is just an extra amount of money without the ability for it to be backed with anything. Now, obviously that's fiat currency partly, but when you add more to the money, it's like having a pie and you just cut up the slices even further and further and further until you can barely see the difference between one slice of pizza and a piece of pizza and, and the other. This actually occurred um, in a real world scenario in the 1930s in Germany. The Reichsmarks were so devalued that you would take a wheelbarrow of a billion Reichsmarks just to own a piece of bread. You're seeing gas prices doing this a little bit, okay? You're seeing um, a roast. I heard someone talk about a roast was like, what, um, 60 bucks to buy a roast. And a lot of this stuff is manipulated situations. No, just just go to the gas kind of thing. We have the ability to make all the gas we did because Trump was doing it. It's, here's here's what the Biden idiot Biden uh, group have been doing. You know when you when you turn on the spigot in the backyard and you got to fill up the, the the kiddie pool or your dog pool up with water. If you turn it on full blast, it, it fills up what five minutes or something like that. Whatever. Um, and if, but if you turn it down to the lowest setting where it's just trickling out. It's going to take you about an hour for that to fill up. That's essentially what these morons have done. The day that idiot Biden tried to like sign his fake crap in the in his fake White House, this is what they were doing. Okay, and the cabal hates your guts. Okay, and and this is why we're trying to talk about this here. So they've created the realm of hyperinflation. But I'm going to tell you something that will freak your socks out. Ready? From 1913 to 2020, of every digital or physical dollar that has ever been made, only 20% of it occurred from 1913 to 1920. Listen to that again. Only 20% of every dollar that was ever made was made in the time frame from 1913 to 1920. I mean, 2020. Do you understand 2020 was way more important? When Trump talks about fixing fixing 2020, he's talking about the vote. But what he's talking about is the whole kit and caboodle. He's an economist. <coughs> he's not just talking about the vote. The blockchain technology of the quantum financial system, QFS, actually fixes voting. They did it. Do you know they put a watermark on the votes, uh, on the on the voting ballots with that? They know exactly what the votes are doing. Every time those idiots try to steal elections, we're just taking out more and more of those idiots. And they have no idea. They're so stupid that they keep walking into the trap. And the trap is about ready to be closed. Okay, we're at tw May of 2020, um, May 20th of 2020. I promise you it's coming to a very quick close here, okay? And I'm trying to calm you down because many of you got your like your danders up and up, 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 you know, up and up and up and up and it's freaking you out. Just calm down. I promise you it's going to work out. But from 2020 to 2022, 80% of every dollar that's ever been made has occurred in that time frame. If my son who can build these nice charts and he's building charts for me right now, he, you know, if you were going up and down like this, you go whoop. I mean, it would just be off the charts, right? Guys, the, that is hyperinflation to a level of we're not even actually dealing with that. Because really everything, if we really were reflecting the hyperinflation that has actually occurred from 2020 to 2022, gas wouldn't be go from $1.50 to, you know, $5. They, it would be sitting at $25 to $35. No one would drive anywhere. The white hats are in control. I know it's not thrilling. I know you don't feel that way, but the white hats are in control. Now, here's the, 
part that I want. I want to tell you about something. <coughs> Excuse me. And I tracked this as a business owner. And this will this will freak your socks out when you really look at it because I I challenge you to go pull up your paychecks. Now, what I want you to do is pull out your little page that you get from your employer, okay? And you'll see in your paycheck. Now, you probably didn't change your deduction from December 31st paycheck to the 1st January paycheck, okay? Most people don't ever change their deductions anytime soon. So let's just say for the heck of it, you were married three deductions, whatever, right? <clears throat> in 20, I mean, in uh, 2008 to 2009, as a business owner, I watched <coughs> everyone's paycheck, including mine, go boop, boop, which means they were taking more out to pay for taxes, and I got less potential tax returns. Okay, as a business owner, normally we don't get tax returns. We always get tax left and right for everything. Okay, so um, so and and it went down 2009, 09, 10, 11, 12, all the time during you know, idiot Obama's, you know, his little reign. Okay. But the day that Trump took over in 2017, okay, so he's taken over office. He's not even in office yet. In that January, I mean, the December to January point, it bumped up a little bit. And it bumped up again in 2018. And I remember talking to my sister, who's a financial person, but she's totally into Biden. Okay. And, and she hates Trump for everything. She was like, yeah, well, I saw that, but but you know they're taking they're not getting as much tax return. And I'm like, okay, let's talk this one through. How about we do that? Okay, if you're getting more in every single paycheck, you're gonna have less of a tax return at the end because you're, there's not enough money for you to get to get back because it didn't take as much out of your freaking paycheck. It's not even that hard, guys. It's not that hard. Now, here's the one thing that's fascinating. If hyperinflation <coughs> was really a problem with Biden, they would have been adjusting the paycheck from 2020 to 2021. You should have seen, just like what would happen in Trump, where Trump actually um, jumped up and gave you more money. From 2020 to 2021, we got more money in your paycheck. Go check, test me. I trust me. I've done. I've done the math. I don't. I'm not missing this on this one at all. But in 2021, now see, it didn't. It didn't happen that way. I mean, it went up a little bit, so we had more and more money. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe Biden hadn't got time to a little do his little thing, you know? I mean, because I we were so unsure about what was happening in the world. But from 2021 to 2022. It happened again. We got more money back in our, 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 our amounts. See, if hyperinflation was really a problem that they were taking it out of your shorts, what they would have done is taken a ton of money in taxes. You would have noticed a massive reduction in your, in your taxation or massive increase in your taxation, sorry, so that <clears throat> you would have had less tax return at the end in that, in that essence. Sorry, I'm moving around a little bit. It's messing the camera up. <coughs> but hyperinflation at this point in time is only happening on a price level. And it's and I promise you, it's because they hate your guts. But the white hats are still working in the background to make and make and take care of your issues. I promise you, this is going to be okay. Because the fiat's going to die. It's going to th be thrown off the cliff. And as it's thrown off the cliff, you'll never have to worry about it again because what will be replacing it instantaneously as a gold back currency. You're not going to have to do anything special. You're not going to have to have an oath. You know, I've had, oh, I've had like 80,000 people ask me this question. Do you have to take an oath to get the, the Nassara dollars? No, that's ri ridiculous. If you're following someone who's saying that, unfollow them right now, that's a false teacher, knows nothing about economic issues and knows nothing about Nasara. This is not about the mark of the beast. Trust me, this is a currency. When this currency comes in, it's a nationalistic currency. The mark of the beast is a worldwide one currency point, Revelation 13. What we're dealing with right now 
is individual nations having their own currency. This is a point of freedom. We're in the Exodus time frame. As, as the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt after hundreds of years of slavery, sounds similar to what they've been doing, dealing with. And their death slavery was there and they were beaten up. Doesn't that sound familiar to what you're feeling right now? They didn't just walk out with the rags on. They were given massive amounts of wealth. And the Bible was talking about this. And then, and then when we read in, in Proverbs, Proverbs 13, 22, it says, <coughs> the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. We are about to see that kind of time frame where we're going to be able to move from the fiat to a gold currency, and it's going to be awesome for you. It's going to have a one-to-one -one ratio. It is going to be so wonderful. So I'm stopping the video right at this point here. I want you to have some information and, and some understanding. So if you will just kind of get in there and like the video, leave your comments, happy to answer them. Thanks so much.